Hi guys! So we have just arrived in London after almost two hours drive from Clacton on Sea. As you see, I'm driving on the left side of the street for the first time and we are gonna stay three nights in London. We brought you here to explore the amazing British cuisine, or I should say the cosmopolitan cuisine in London. London is broadly cosmopolitan and it's a mixture of culture. Yeah, obviously, obviously food from all around the world and um, it's a huge diversity in here. Uh, what I have heard about um, London cuisine, Londoner cuisine, is that from the colonial period when uh, British uh, colonized several parts of the world, um, where I am from as well, Indian subcontinent, and also people found their way through to arrive to arrive in London and they brought also brought their own cuisine and culture with them and they tried to kind of sneak in into the British cuisine so which made this particularly in non London the cuisine really really interesting so you will have a really diverse multicultural and the cosmopolitan cuisine here yeah, at least that's what we were expecting and we're going to take you through into this journey with us so please join us in the London Food Tour at Fusion Teaching. Again, as you see, Buckingham Palace on our left side. Hello from London guys! So this is our first morning in this beautiful city and we are starting our day in a very nice cafe. As you can see my bag is called Escape the Daily Grind and yeah we are very excited for our first breakfast. This place is famous for their coffee, it's called Volcano Coffee and it's supposed to be the best coffee in this district. Let's see if it's true! I got a very lovely berry smoothie, which um, is obviously very fresh and healthy from the local market. And a beautiful coffee made out of volcano coffee beans, so excellent. I think, I haven't tried it yet, but I will try it. Actually, let me try it with you. But I've heard a lot about it, and I think it should be very good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the best coffee I've had in a very long time. Avocado on a sourdough bread with feta cheese and rocket salad. What do you need more for breakfast? I need to try it. Maybe I just need to actually bite on it. <laughs> but it's... A lovely flavor. Mm. And paired with some chili as well. And the fresh avocado, perfect. Really good start into the day. So it's our second day in, in London and we are at Greenwich today. So we took a boat from London 
Embankment Pier. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And, and we arrived at Greenwich, uh, took a room around, and we ended up in this traditional British pub. And all that happened because of this guy, a random British guy we have just met in London. That's correct. Um, what's your name again? Uh, random Londoner. Random Londoner, right. Okay, so he, he wants to be anonymous. Okay, let's keep him anonymous. Anyway, so that was his suggestion to take this boat, and it was worth it, really. It was worth it, and oh, we ended up in this pub, as you see. Typical British fish and chips. And beers, right? Uh, so Great Britain is famous for lots of beers, isn't it? Okay, so how are you Basically. doing today? Oh, I'm pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, not normally on camera, okay. but shy, the camera okay. shy. Yeah. But you know, nothing a pint won't solve. Cheers. Okay. So, it's oh, a little right. drink. Yeah. Adnam's Ghost Chip Ale. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little so, bit more about that. So, what, what, what's so special about oh, British um, beers here? Well, they're British. Yeah. Um, and they're, uh, they're not very strong usually. Uh -huh. um, typically less than 5 or four, less than 4% even. Um, All right. And uh, well, people like to drink them a to lot, like, okay. possibly to unhealthy levels. But I think British people have got used to doing that so much that we don't think we're alcoholics. Okay. Um, so, so it's just normal to have a ale or two at lunch. Uh, okay. It's quite yeah. And you end up the day with uh, I don't know, yeah. four or five a day or something. Um, yeah, typically London, um, well England, yeah, people tend to drink a lot after work. As well. Okay. That's, that's true. But uh, weaker beers mm. because uh, they're uh, you can sort of drink them slowly all day and not. You know, you can mm. not get too drunk. I think okay. that's part of the history of it. Okay. Of the uh, the ale, mm -hmm. uh, or the bitter, mm -hmm. which is a sort of a slightly weaker than ale and a bit um, usually a little bit less flavorful. I find. Okay. Oh. I prefer ales to bitters. Mm. Me too. I think I have tried quite a few of them. Some mm. some craft beers, some some ales. Quite quite a few of them actually for lunch as well. Yeah. So I think it's it's quite normal here. You get used to it very fast. Yeah. Once you once you start living here. Great. I mean, I think you've got to get yeah. out of London a bit to get the real traditional mm. cask, you know, beers uh, that are made uh, where they have lots of options. But mm -hmm. London is a bit not as okay. traditional, maybe, as the countryside. Yeah. Which I think you're going to find out about soon because you're going to be. Yeah, we are going to be driving around, uh, along the south coast of England, so I think there will be a lot of lot of twist around this area. Yeah, you will yeah. discover. It. <laughs> Very nice down there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so tell us something about British cuisine. What's 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 special about it? What's uh, or what's the charm of it? I mean, we know that we, <laughs> okay. it has a Asian so influence in it, isn't it? From the South South Asia, because we oh, were yeah. colonized where I'm from, absolutely from the Indian subcontinent. So I think uh, when I ask people about what's typical British food, they say curry. That's very uh, true. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, as far as I know, uh -huh. um, I mean, yeah. Indian food or curry is the number one, uh, uh, you know, favorite food in England. Mm -hmm. But most Indian restaurants are actually run by people from Bangladesh. That's right. That's what I've asked a few mm. restaurant owners, and that's what they say. Um, for some reason, I don't know why exactly. No, but, uh, I tell you why. We got a region in the uh, north eastern part of Bangladesh. It's called Silet, and okay. every family has someone in London, working in London okay. as a chef. Got it. Uh, working in the restaurant. See, no, so it's you're like educating a, it's me. It's part of the tradition in okay. there. So yeah, they just Excellent. come and sell India in a way because I think for some reason it's just more popular. They got that us. connection and they yeah. kept it. They kept uh, kind of grabbed that market. Yeah. So yeah. of course, then one of the popular places in London is Brick Lane mm -hmm. for for that uh, for Bangladeshi culture and food. Yeah. Um, I mean, the one thing I know for sure is uh, the spice mix called garam masala. That's right. Was basically invented for the British. And then, because they asked, you know, can we have a spice mix that we can take back really? to England uh -huh. in the colonial period? Somewhere, you know, so that's how that ended up being this, you know, garam masala mix. I uh, see. And uh -huh. now that's like really popular here, obviously. Uh, probably used in a lot of different. Wow. I mean, yeah. My my neighbours are from Sikh uh -huh. people, and they their favourite thing. They said barbecue, lamb neck, garam masala, salt, put it wow. on. I didn't know. Barbecue. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I'm familiar with garam masala, but yeah, I didn't know that it was invented for Britain. At least the one you buy here. If you buy a garam masala yeah. here, that's what it is. It's been interesting. Sort of made for the British. Yeah. People. But but what is typical British British? Not let's say not curry. <laughs> Pine mash. <Really>? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which 
maybe we talked about but of course fish and mm. chips um, yeah that's what I'm having bangers yeah. and mash steak and kidney pudding uh, kidney pudding steak and kidney yeah okay. not sure I can't remember ever having it it's not, okay. not a big fan of it um, uh-huh. yeah like that. we mentioned jelly deals a classic East London food yeah, yeah. Uh, pickled fishes and stuff like that sort of thing but uh, um yeah, like shepherd's pie is more countryside food. Shepherd's pie, right, yeah. Or uh, or uh, cottage pie. I mean, that's just lamb or beef. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's sort of like potato meat, hearty sort of stews as well. There's mm. different stews depending where you come from. Yeah. These haggis and stuff up there. Haggis. Yeah, but that's from Scotland, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, it's sort yeah. of, you know, there's no overlap. There's no overlap. Yeah, yeah, obviously. What's English is... Inherited from Scottish, yeah. and Irish, and vice versa. It's the United Kingdom, isn't it? So you got to. <laughs> yeah, we're really united. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. Right. So, right. Um, yeah, and then lots of sort of cakes, scones, that kind of stuff. You right. know, a lot of butter, a lot of yeah. flour, a lot of yeah, sugar. Mm. Mm. A lot of butter cooking. You know, pastries made with butter. You know, butter is really big in England. In okay. Old-fashioned cooking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and now it's all modern fusions and stuff, you know. All so oh, right. It evolves. Mm. It yeah, changes, we're, but yeah, yeah. Those are the roots, I guess. Yeah, great. I, I mean, this looks great. Uh, thank you very much, uh, anonymous Londoner, if I may put it that <laughs> way. <right>. Welcome. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, for this for this great day, and we are looking forward to the rest of the day as well. Traveling. Food and maestro. I'm gonna try the f- the fish and chips now. Probably I'm gonna Should start with the. Looks good. It's a it's a it's a cod, isn't it? Battered, fried, deep fried cod. Piece of haddock, I think that one. Is that haddock? Yep, okay. it's, a, it's a haddock. Oh, that's a haddock. Okay. okay. Nice and great. Cool. How's it doing? I like that. It's good? I like that. Cool. It's good. Tuck in. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Oh, look at that, we got the uh, random Londoner again with us, and yeah, he's gonna explain in a while what we are gonna do. But we also got a Canadian friend here, Vancouver, random. So, uh, random, you know, just Londoner. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, what is this? <laughs> what? This is classic East London uh, dish. Look at that. It's called je- jelly deals. <laughs> I've, I've never eaten it, so, yeah. um, Oh, it's a, it's a surprise for you as well. Yeah, okay. It really is. Interesting. So that's eels, right? Uh, you know, the fish that looks like snake, but not really snake. And you got you got it uh, like sticky inside jelly. Um, quite quite interesting. It's cold. And at, as suggested, we added vinegar and, and pepper on it. And yeah, we are going to try it now. So, do you want to start, or the Canadian friend? We just do have to go together, don't we? Okay, yeah. Let's, let's do it I'll first. get that piece, let's and watch out for bones, they said. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Watch out for the bones. Just got bones, I guess. Uh, I got a small piece here. Small piece? <laughs> right. Maybe should have some. We're going to try that, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I like feel it. like you put a little too much vinegar in there, but maybe mm. it's, it's a bit salty, like isn't it? it? Yeah. Like, I, I like it. I like oh. it. Yeah. 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 It's fishy. It's fishy. But trust me, this is this is good, guys. Please try it if you visit London. So that's uh, random one. London has never had it before. So, so you see, sometimes when you grow up in London, you get to miss that, but don't oh. miss it. This is good. Try it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try it. Classic East London food. Mm, uh, good stuff. 